Hello, and welcome to Code in 5 Minutes with Zim. I'm Dr. Abstract. Let's go to the Zim site now at zimjazz.com and see what we can code in 5 minutes. We'll go to the code section here and copy the template. We'll put that into Adam, and we'll get rid of the circle that's inside the, the template. Now, what we're going to build is uh, this guy right here, spaceguy.p. We're going to make him walk across a scene that has a foreground that looks like that, and a background that looks like this, and there's a midground. Now, he's a sprite sheet, and we get his data from this json.data. There's also a ground, so we've got these different parts that we're going to have to bring in. Uh, okay, so let's start that timer. Here we go, and see if we can bring in those parts. The var assets is equal to, um, we will have the background. Let's uh, just make this so we can sort of see where we're at here. We'll have background.png, comma, and then a bunch of other ones that will copy paste. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, so some of those. Background, a midground, nice, a ground, believe it or not, and a foreground, foreground. We'll also have the space guy, space guy dot png, and the space guy dot json, which holds that data for us. And we don't need these extra ones or the extra one there. Okay, these are all found in the path. Our path is equal to asset slash, like so. And we have to remember to bring them in in the frame call here. Uh, assets, comma, and the path. Those are the next two parameters there when loading. So now, we will we'll, let's bring in the sprite first so we can have a look at it. Um, new sprite, and in here we can ask for the JSON, so JSON directly, and frame.asset, we will get the space guy.json, like so, and that handles everything for us. So we'll dot center reg that. It's good if we're going to flip this sprite ever, it's good to center reg it. And we will also dot run it so we can have a look to see how she's going. And that will, that will run it, but we may run, want to run. Let me show you what that looks like and then we'll make an adjustment. Open that in browser. But it has this little shoot at the end. That's the shoot phase. So we want to run a label called walk. And that is only the walk cycle. We'll also loop it, loop colon true, like that. And then it will go over and over again. So there he is walking. He's looking like he's going to be walking a little bit slow, but he is indeed walking. We can speed that up a bit. Um, the default time is 1,000, so we'll make that I don't know, 700 or something. OK, that's the sprite. Um, but we also have some backgrounds to, to put in here. So those are scrollers, new scroller. And this scroller will be the frame.asset, another one of these, frame.asset, and it will be background.png, hmm, dot add two, and then comma. Uh, we'll also set a time for that scroller. The background can go at a, a speed of one. That will make a, a scroller as a background. Do you want to see that just quickly? And there it is, the background scrolling. So we'll copy that a few times. One, two, C3. And another one we'll copy in behind or on top. This will be the foreground. The foreground will go on top of the, the sprite and be going really fast or faster, five times as fast, say. Then we've got, we'll put the ground next, even though the ground is going to go faster three at a level of three than the mid ground it just kind of um the ground uh will go underneath the mid ground and that that will be fine we'll make this one go at uh, two the mid ground a little bit slower than the ground all right so these are all put in in order so that they'll stack on one another let's have a look and see what they, they look like 
Okay, so we've got a bit of a problem. The floor and the foreground are down too far. I think we've got too much height maybe. So we'll move both the floor and the foreground up a bit. And I think we'll, we're getting there though, huh? How's the time? Four minutes and 13 seconds. We'll make these dark and dark darker like that we'll move these just a little bit we got to get to that text so what is it it's the ground here and this one we want to dot move zero in the X and say minus 150 or something and there we go I think this might do it we'll refresh oh yeah let's stop that timer at four minutes and 44 seconds Whew. How about that? We got a space guy walking in the scene. It's kind of too bad we can't control him. Hmm, I wonder if we could do that in another five minutes with Zim. Stay tuned. Is that cheating? <laughs> Let's see what we can code in five minutes. It's really just the parts of things. Ah, uh, whatever. Anyway, maybe you just want it like this. Hey, that's pretty cool. I love it. This uh, art, by the way, is by Antonio, and he's uh, he comes from Sheridan, where I happen to teach as well. He's an animator there. He's graduated working on Big Hero 6. And, oh, he's made the big time. He's a good guy. All right. Uh, ciao. If you're still here, come on in. Visit us at zimjs.com slash slack. Uh, we'd love to uh, talk with you there. Yeah. Come on in. Ask any questions you want. Show us some examples of things you're making. Yay. Bye.